Dairy farming with automation. How our cows get milked. Get fresh feed. Get bedded. And how the aisles are clean. Watch until the end for how we automatically run foot baths. Our barn is a four-row freestall barn. The free flow system allows cows access to the robot at all times. The milking process is done robotically. The Galaxy robot uses a standard industrial arm to milk cows on either side. As the cows are being milked they are fed a pellet. This keeps the cows calm and allows us to feed more energy to our top producers. The first step of the milking process is to prep the teats for milking. The prep cup will use pulsation to pre-milk each teat and a pre-dip solution to clean them. Each teat is then vacuum dried. When the prepping process is done, the robot will start to put on the teacups. The robot uses a laser and camera to find each teat. The milk flow from each teat is monitored individually, allowing the robot to milk each quarter out perfectly. When the milkers are all on, the robot will go back to home position. The prep cup and the laser and camera lenses are then cleaned before it goes to put on the next cow. The flow sensors let the robot know when each quarter should come off. The conductivity sensors test for abnormal milk alerting us if there is major changes. The milk meter measures exactly what each cow produces. This data can all be easily seen from a touch screen in the robot, or from an app on our phone. When the last milker comes off. The robot will post dip the teats. When the cow exits the box, the deck flush will spray off the floor, keeping the milking area as clean as possible. When the cows exit the robot they will immediately have access to fresh water. Cow brushes are also available. Letting cows get brushed as much as they like. This keeps cows much cleaner and gets rid of any loose and shedding hair. The aisles are cleaned with a flush system. The flush heads are on a timer and will open automatically and clean the aisle out. The aisles are cleaned about every three hours. The barn is built on a 1.5% slope. This allows the flush water to flow from the front to the back end of the barn quickly taking all manure, and sand that was kicked out of the free stalls.
When the aisle is done flushing, the flush head will close. The aisle is now completely clean. The freestall beds are bedded with deep bed sand. The freestall dividers are flexible, strong enough to keep the cows in line, but also give enough that the cow won't get hurt or injured getting up. When the flush water exits the barn, it goes into a settling lane that is on a half percent slope. This slows the flush down allowing the sand to settle in the lane and taking the manure on out to the pit. We then come in with the loader and reclaim the sand. The sand is then stacked on a stacking pad to let it dry out. The sand will be restacked to help it dry completely. Once it is dry, it will be scooped up and put in the hopper that fills the robotic better. This needs done once a day. The better track runs over the center of the freestall rows. The first thing the robot does is to leave the charging dock and start the filling process. A conveyor brings the sand up from the hopper. Sensors on the robot will let it know when it is full. The robot will then leave the filling station and start on its scheduled route. When it gets to the free stalls for that route it will begin dispensing sand in the front of the stalls. As it comes to a crossover it will pause dispensing until it is over the stalls again. One of the best benefits of the robot better, is the cows don't need disturb to get bedded. With automatic milking the cows are never cleared out of the barn to be milked. This makes bedding with a loader more difficult. On one of its routes the better will navigate around the robot rooms to get to the far end of the barn.
when it gets to the end of its route, the better will reverse course and head back to the charging dock. The better controller can be run from a desktop computer in the office or from our phones. Our farm also uses a robot to push up feed. The feed pusher will first leave the charging dock to start its route. The first feed to be pushed up is the maternity pen. The next pen to have their feed pushed up is the milking group. This is a heavier denser feed. The rubber ring on the bottom of the feed pusher will scrape the cement clean, leaving nothing behind. The feed pusher makes a beeping sound when it's on its route. This alerts cows that fresh feed is available and they begin to make their way to the bunk. The feed at the far end of the barn is the dry cow's feed. When the feed pusher gets to the end of the dry cow group, it will cross the feed aisle and push up feed on the other side of the barn. The feed pusher follows magnets in the floor to stay on course. With every route it takes it will get closer to the bunk. Ensuring fresh feed is always available throughout the day. At this end of the barn the feed pusher turns around and heads back toward the starting point. The last step of the route is to park back at the charging dock. Now it will charge until the next scheduled route. The whole barn now has fresh feed available. The latest automation we added to our barn is automatic foot baths. The foot mats are placed just outside the robot exit doors. Pumps mounted in the utility room automatically keep the foot mats full of fresh product. A skin treatment will be ran on days when it's not running formaldehyde. Product is released when pressure is applied to the top of the mat. The one-way mesh technology doesn't let the product or manure back in the bath. Ensuring a clean foot bath for each cow.
The top of the mat should be sprayed off twice a day. The hoof care solution will get between the claws on each hoof. Also covering the hairline of each foot. Helping prevent heel warts.